Hello everyone, and welcome back to the wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs, where we are diving into the graveyard today because our gothic dog, Al and Om, is actually getting really old. They are doing their best to be a great digger. They have been working so freaking hard to expand all of this area with which they're trying to make sure that they leave behind an even more grand shrine to the ghost guard dogs uh, and all of the ghost dogs after they pass. But it is going to be Al and Om's final moments and we actually just got an alert that it's gonna be sprouts final moments too soon no i really don't want to lose those guys but thankfully we have indeed already saved their clones so we will be able to work with them in the future uh sprouts i i, I did save your clone right like here's adult sprout in a pen whoops i renamed the wrong one okay so there we go and then this is the Sprouts who actually is the clone that's inside of our uh, little cryogenics chamber and we're gonna leave them there. But let's go ahead and first things first, knowing that it is time for yet another new lineage to be left behind. We're going to breed, uh, we're gonna bring Alan Om into the breeding zone. And I think we're gonna go ahead and just see what happens if we mix Sprouts. But I know that Witch is really kind of wanting to go ahead and leave behind a super goth dog. So let's not take too long. But I really want to see what happens if we mix Sprouts' like stripes with the goth dog. Anything? Anything? Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're actually a lot more plain than I was expecting! Hi guys! Alright, alright. A lot of you are missing mouths. I wonder if I should be alarmed about that. Can any of you actually eat? Okay, I'm a little alarmed. I'm trying not to be alarmed, but I'm- Oh, stripey! That's what I wanted! Nothing says that you are a really cool ultra goth as much- Oh, I'm purple! As much as not being afraid to wear pink. That's just, you know, my personal opinion. But I feel like- I feel like it's worth something. Oh, we have little spots! Oh my gosh, I actually love this one! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're gonna carry on. I love going purple with our goth dogs. That's really precious. I really want to see those stripes come back. Can I please- Yes, we got the stripe! Okay, I learned my lesson. I'm not going to push this too hard. Let's grab this one. I think that that is a ridiculously cute little goth dog with just like one little tiny like line of pink fur. So it can be like, yeah, I'm, I'm that hardcore of a goth. I'm going to wear pink. Everybody should be allowed to wear whatever they want. Uh, most, most of the time, I think. As long as, you know, it's not something really offensively horrendous. All right. Garcelio, I'm going to actually yeet you over here because I think that there is still... No, there is no more. Okay, it looks like Big Potato's body was consumed. Never mind, Garcelio. Uh, but let's pop over. And Alan Om, is that the child I want you to leave behind? It's really cute. It's really freaking cute. But do we want that child? Or it looks like Witch is like, what about me? We're supposed to have a pup. <laughs> so let's grab Alan Om. Not the clone, but the actual Alan Om. And let's grab a witch as well. And then let's see what their like super goth dog might look like. Oh, cute! Very cute! All right, let's breed this one. And how about this one? Now let's just carry this on for a little while and see if we have like some little hidden genes. It looks like the goth dogs are actually hiding blue genes because we did end up with a blue dog in another crossbreed experiment. And then let's grab this one who's just doing backflips and is like all black. I like him. All right, what do we have next? Hi, guys. Okay, so we are having some two-headed goth dogs. I like the big splotches of pink. This round, I'm actually feeling like kind of pushing the jeans a little hard and just seeing like if they're hiding anything. Because I have this pet theory that maybe the deeper and deeper you go into the simulation stability, then maybe some of the unexpected genes that are kind of like hiding as like deep recessives start popping out. So, hey guys! We're gonna just carry on with this for a minute. All right. I'm gonna stay away from too big of color changes, but... Oh, I like these guys! They definitely remind me of Alan Om and Witch. Like, these are, these are some good mixes that blend the two together very nicely. All right, we're getting a little bit lower on our stability. 
dog. I don't really want to get a dog who's like too big because a lot of our ghost guard, guard dogs who have been huge big fluffy pillows of adorableness have also shown us that it's very hard to maneuver between all of the graves when you're also a gigantic dog. Oh my gosh, and some of these guys are like break dancing. I love it. Can you imagine having like just a ghost guardian goth dog break dance rave in the graveyard? That sounds like a really good time. Not gonna lie. I love dancing. Ooh, I do like this color. Wow, that's a really beautiful rose coloration. Wow. Okay, I wanna see where that takes us. I wanna see where that takes us. All right, and all these dogs have their left front leg from the looks of it. I really might need to breed like the default dog a few times to start ditching the left front leg. I love having a dark gothic rose dog. I actually really like that a lot. Let's see if we can take that like one more level. Okay, now we're getting too bright. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick from amongst our, our current set. I really love this one. Look at this, like a gothic rose dog. Yes, that would be so cool. I think that that is a Puppers that Witch and Alan Om would be really happy to leave behind. Holy cow. That's just gonna look amazing. All right, and then let's pop over. Alan Om, are you doing okay? All right, they're just giving everything a good shake. Let's actually hatch that Puppers. Yeah, like a little gothic rose to come and be part of the ghost guardian line. And let me go ahead and pull up dun, 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 the random comment generator. Oh, good. And I actually have some name suggestions that have been added in. Uh, let's see. Also, Chickadee, how you doing back there, my friend? Chickadee is actually having a good life. We're going to go ahead and call forth Espeon. There you go, Espeon, to come and just like join the play play area. Actually, I guess I have to banish Espeon. I'm sorry, Espeon, I have to banish you or else I'm not going to have enough room for all these puppers. And we're actually going to be welcoming in. Hello, little one. This little one is going to be Tika. Tika, what a lovely name. I really like that name. And this is going to be our little uh, Tika. We're going to call her Tika Rose because she is our little goth rose dog who's come to join the family now. Look at her. What is she beelining for? She knows what she wants in life. Oh, she's got some ectoplasm already. Yes, we need to feed this pupper some more ectoplasm. I think that is the way of things. <gasps> she's a little digger. Yes, all of the praise, all of the praise for digging. Oh my gosh, here, we're gonna clear some spots. I'm actually going to remove some of these things. Tika! Tika Rose, welcome! Our little, like, gothic rose. I love it, I love it. And also, Sprouts, are you doing okay? Oh, you guys, I feel like we should maybe give Sprouts, like, one last really good go of maybe having some pups. But I'm not sure with who. We already have Sprouts and little Karabi had... No, no, it wasn't Sprouts who had this baby. It was Big Potato. Is there a... <laughs> Shepherd! Shepherd, drop it. You're not supposed to like hold the puppy's noses, Shepherd. All right, so maybe we'll breed Sprouts as like our last big breeding thing of the day too. Cause I, I don't want to like lose Sprouts' adorable stripes. So let's actually breed Sprouts. And who do I have? I do happen to have Strata hiding inside of our cryogenics chamber. But as usual, I try to keep the rule that we have to use the dogs we currently have out. So I'm gonna try breeding Sprouts with, I guess the only other adult dogs that we have right now that are out, like in the world, are like Witch and Alan Om hasn't passed away just yet. Hmm. Hmm. I did like that mix. We did end up with a cool puppers from that mix, but we also have little Karabi. And you know what? I want some good old garden dogs. Let's do this. All right. Little Karabi, Sprouts. Let's see what kind of babies you guys might have. They're so cute. I love the spots. Oh my gosh. I am such a sucker for little spotty dogs. All right. Let's try this little spotty one down here. And let's try this one. Neither of them have the stripes. Maybe the stripes. Oh, we've got the stripes back. Yes. I really wanted to get those stripes. And none of them have little Karabi's eyes. What? Wow, that must be a little rarer than I thought it was. 
Here, we'll try breeding these guys. Three eyeballs on any of you? Wow. Or I should say six eyeballs or 12. No, not over here, not over here. I lost the stripes. Oh no, no, here's the stripes, yes. All right, there's stripes again. So we'll try this again. Yes, all right, we are keeping some of the stripes in here. That makes me very happy. I really wanted to keep some stripes going. These are cute. They're like breeding tiny little dogs and dogs because we happen to have, oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this one. I want this one. I know we haven't really bred that far, but look at how adorably green it is. And it has multiple tails, double heads. I think we've got lots of extra legs. Can any of you walk? Can we have proof of concept of movement? Uh-oh. I don't know if any of these dogs can walk, you guys. They all seem really sweet. But, oh, this one backed up a couple steps. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe we should go ahead, and even though I don't really want to, let's try crossbreeding just one more time, because I, I didn't see a single one of those dogs walk. And I feel like that'd be a little irresponsible. All right, proof of concept, anybody? Anybody? Oh, we're missing some legs on this one. Oh! Oh, look, 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 look. So they can move. Oh, thank goodness. All right. I think the ones with the smaller legs can actually move a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe. Maybe. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. We got a little bit of movement side to side. Okay. Let's try these guys out. I do want to make sure these dogs have a decent life. So I'm trying to make sure they can at least vaguely move around. All right, what about you, friend? You have the colors I really want. There we go. We needed some back legs to be able to get a little bit of back movement, it seems. All right, let's try this guy out. I really like him. I love that green nose. I love that overall green color. Just mwah, perfect for the garden dogs. A little concerned because we don't have the triple eyes that little Karabi had. So those are not being passed down for some reason, but that's okay. And meanwhile, all of the little garden dogs are coming on over and having a good time over here. It looks like they've really, like, lost a lot of their food. <gasps> Alanom! Oh! Tika Rose! Tika Rose! Alanom was such a good digger. Digging out the shrine. I hope that you will carry on your parents' like legacy. I am very hopeful for that. Oh! Good luck, good luck. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how long we're gone. They were really such a staple in this area for so long. Oh. All right, we have Chica and we have Rose, since I guess we have two heads on this dog too. Rest in peace, little guy. Wow. And now we have our little gothic Rose, like, coming to, to like, follow up the family lineage. Oh, it's just so difficult, you guys. Thankfully, we have little happy chickadee just doing chickadee dances back here and having a grand old time. All right, we'll give chickadee some pets. Maybe chickadee needs to hang out with Espeon for a little bit. There we go. Liliana! Liliana! Oh my gosh! Liliana, you should have said something if you were about to die! Guys! Guys! Eat, Liliana! Eat! Oh, I feel desperately sad for Liliana. But Liliana is also the dog we're trying to raise so that they end up not having like any legs. Very concerned about that. But I guess this is good practice for needing to remember that if we do raise a dog who has no legs, I need to make sure that they are constantly fed. Holy cow. Liliana, hang in there. <gasps> Sprouts! Sprouts! Oh no, we're gonna lose, like, like, lose Sprouts at the same time too. Oh, did you hear that tiny little howl he did? Oh, and somebody dug up the dog toy and brought it over. No! Oh, tragedies. Oh, but where there is tragedy, friends, we need new, new life. We need new life to be able to celebrate this. We're gonna incubate that adorable little green dog. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna bring in a new puppers. To, even though we have had quite the cycle of life recently and we have lost several of our pups, I am going to keep an eye. All right, let's go ahead and expel the puppers in here. Garcello, we're going to go ahead and just let you puppate in just a second, friend. 
you with the three eyes. Here, we're gonna have Garcello actually eat this honeycomb to maybe darken their pattern. All right, Garcello, you go ahead and eat that. And while you eat that, we're gonna hatch this new little one. This is now going to be due. Thank you guys so much for the great name suggestion using the random comments generator from our previous Wobble Dogs episodes. And do welcome to the family. Hopefully, oh, what's this? This is a new dog toy. Oh my gosh. Who dug that up? That's so cool. It's a new smiley ball. Oh, good job, puppers. I don't know who dug that up, but I'm really proud of them. Also, let's get Garcello going ahead and getting ready to pup bait as well up in the tree. Oh my gosh, they're actually up in the tree. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love that so much. Ah, uh, all right. But there we go. Little Dew has now been added into the family. The family is growing. We have our shepherd bouncing around. Aussie is actually ready to go ahead and pup eight again, which is really fantastic because we're getting a little bit closer to having a three-headed dog who's going to be able to help us out with some cool projects. Uh, and we're making a little bit of a little crabby. Are you getting enough to eat? All right, you're coming in for some food. But we are indeed making quite a bit of progress with all of our different puppers. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for little Dew, who has just come to join the family and is playing by Sprout's favorite rock. What? Oh, my heart. Oh, look at that. And we are getting some really cool body color changes over on Garcello, whose back legs are now ridiculously long. Oh, dear. But all right, if you could, do please leave a like for all of our very fast growing puppers. Now, what the heck, you guys? And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.